So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories and if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it and as always, it's very much appreciated. Now, the three stories I wanted to cover in this video includes this massive leak that went live recently that listed multiple PlayStation titles going to PC and future games as well. Spider-Man 2 gets solid news along with new God of War news as well. First, are you going to update your PlayStation 5 SSD storage or not the next major playstation 5 update drops today and with it comes the long-awaited playstation 5 internal ssd storage expansion feature i stated the update probably was going to come in september and of course here we are but are you guys excited to update your storage so comment below are you getting an ssd for your playstation 5 or not let me know down in the comments below now diving into the first story of the video spider-man 2 playstation 5 recently we got the reveal of spider-man 2 at the playstation showcase and questions have been running wild which makes sense and out of those questions two exciting details have been revealed recently so first one reading from pushsquare.com marvel spider-man 2 is massive according to tony todd the star of Candyman and voice of venom in the playstation 5 exclusive responding to a fan on twitter the horror icon affirmed that he will be voicing the symbiote and has been involved with the project for around two months now game is massive he said that's why it won't come out until 2023 so, I'm not personally sure how much a voice actor would know about the size of a game, but I'm assuming from what he's been given access to, he's able to gauge how big the game is, uh, looking like it's going to be. I'm assuming he's probably also connected with developers, and maybe they gave him an idea as well of the scope the game is going for. But jumping into the second detail... Reading from PlayStation Lifestyle, just in, care, in case there were any doubts about Marvel Spider-Man 2's reveal trailer, an Insomniac Games developer has confirmed that last week's PlayStation Showcase video was running in real time on the PlayStation 5. Following the event, many people assumed that Spider-Man 2's trailer was all CGI, which led VFX artist Brianna Lindsay has confirmed isn't the case she tweeted the team did a killer job real-time vfx are difficult but i'm so proud of our whole team for pushing our quality bar this of course does not mean that an early trailer is representative of the final product but if insomniac's games track record is any indication fans certainly have no reason to worry rest assured spider-man 2 will look and play like a dream the studio has already said that it'll push the capabilities of the playstation 5 so her saying it's running in real time pretty much confirms that this is the PlayStation 5 pushing the visuals you're seeing on screen and not pre-rendered CGI. I'm not sure how actual gameplay is going to look in the end, but if Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is any indication of what Insomnia can do with the PlayStation 5 already at the start of the generation, Spider-Man 2 is going to look mind-blowing. Now, diving into the second story of the video, Massive Game Leak goes live. Reading from WCCF Tech, a huge GeForce Now database leak rocked the news yesterday teasing PC players to a great number of possible upcoming game announcements. Following the leak, we reached out to NVIDIA and received the following comment from a spokesperson. NVIDIA is aware of an un unauthorized published game list with both released and or speculative titles used only for internal tracking and testing. Inclusion on the list is neither confirmation nor an announcement of any game. NVIDIA took immediate action to remove access to the list. No confidential game builds or personal information were exposed as we suspected most of the games listed here probably were only used on geforce now for internal testing and many and may never see the light of day on pc still we maintain that some eventually will such as god of war other playstation exclusive final fantasy 7 remake death stranding director's cut demon souls returnal ghost of tsushima the rumored gta remasters as well as the most obvious ones like dragon age 4 gear 6 forza motorsport 8 avowed to Crisis 4 and Payday 3. The RTX remasters may also turn out to be true given that two years ago Nvidia kicked off a program to do just that. So I saw the list myself and just as the article stated something like God of War and Ghost of Tsushima makes sense to come to PC sometime in the near future. Ghost of Tsushima by next year will be two years old and God of War will have been four years old by then. I'm assuming Sony is saving these before they release the next titles in the series like they did with Horizon and Death Stranding with Horizon 2 on the way and Death Stranding Director's Cut coming out soon enough and the rumor of De Death Stranding 2 being in discussions now. The surprise 
surprising games on the list for me in terms of PlayStation were Returnal, Sackboy, Demon's Souls, GT7, and Horizon Forbidden West being on the list. Some of these games come out came out recently and some haven't released yet on the PlayStation 5. So I'm wondering if Sony would ever start to release their exclusives on PC not long after their launch on PlayStation 5. Also, could a game like Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart come to PC and run well on any PC or only PCs with higher end SSDs, minimum being NVMe 4.0 SSDs. Will any PlayStation 5 game be limited because of the possibility of it being ported to the, uh, to the PC? I don't think Sony would do that to their developers, but I'm curious about the answers to these questions. You guys let me know if you're okay with more PlayStation exclusives going to PC or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the final story of the video, God of War Ragnarok rock new details so these are details i haven't gotten a chance to cover recently but one is focused on god of war ragnarok's combat and the other is focused on when we'll get another update for the game so first up combat reading from gaming bolt God of War 2018's combat was mechanically excellent at it as it is, but speaking in an interview with IGN, Eric Williams, who replaces Corey Barlog as director for the upcoming sequel, said that Ragnarok will expand upon that foundation in various ways. One of the things Williams says Sony Santa Monica Studio has focused on during God of War Ragnarok's development is expanding the toolset to allow for more variety and for players to be more expressive in combat. God of War 2 and Ghost of Sparta are probably two... Uh, favorite games, uh, two of the favorite games I've worked on, said Williams, who worked on every previous mainline God of War game. There was a method to both of those games, taking the base and then saying, you know what, let's go deep on the fan service, let's go big on variety, but not more just to have more, more that was appropriately structured. For me being first time in the director's chair, I'm going to take the history lessons of the past and I'm going to use those to try to do that. So in Ragnarok, what we are trying to do specifically with Kratos we're trying to give a lot more expressiveness to the player Williams explained that expressiveness will come from various sources including progression through gear and equipment meanwhile Atreus will also be more involved in combat the way he and Kratos link up he's grown up a little bit so he's got a lot more follow-ups and setups for Kratos Williams said he added that enemies too will be more capable of dealing with all the, the all the threats players can pose and have some of their own tricks up their sleeves as well the creatures then obviously need to have tools to go against that otherwise you're going to destroy them williams explains so creatures have new things that you're going to need to think of oh i might need to break them down with atreus first or do this with kratos finally williams referred to the moment in god of war ragnarok's reveal trailer in which kratos uses his blades of chaos to pull himself up to a higher ledge essentially using it as a grapple hook as he explains the mechanic will allow for more vertical almost king of the hill type encounters in the game and that enemies will also take advantage of the environment's vertic uh, verticality variety for variety's sake is not a thing at all for us is uh, it's there to serve what we're trying to do william said kratos grappling up the ledge with a chain and then uh, colliding with the enemy and going off in the new gameplay footage you couldn't do that something you couldn't do things like that in god of war 2018 most of the gameplay last time took place on a plane now there's some verticality to it but it wasn't a thought like oh let's have him flinging up walls just because that's included because there's gameplay oriented around it almost king of the hill type encounters so it changes how a player expresses themselves on the battlefield enemies also can take advantage of that so if you're not paying attention they're going to take advantage as well so it helps again with that conversation that goes through combat so this is a good chunk of stuff from Atreus being more capable, more vertical gameplay, smarter enemies with tricks to play against you, and it's it's all carefully crafted and not done for the sake of checking it off a sheet of gameplay mechanics, just checking it off a box. They're there specifically for specific reasons. I'm loving what I'm hearing for Ragnarok so far. I'm expecting probably one of the best games I've ever played, just like God of War 2018. In terms of when we're going to get the next update, on the game according to the playstation blog we won't get another update on god of war ragnarok until sometime next year i'll go further personally and say don't expect
expect anything at least until after Horizon 2 Forbidden West releases in February. Regardless, we know the wait is going to be worth it, but you guys let me know if you're excited for God of War Ragnarok or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps, and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with the big update is here. Obviously, I'm talking about the big update that dropped today with the SSD expansion and a lot of other great stuff in there as well. So if you've updated and you're excited about the update, destroy the comment section with the big update is here. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do. Dude, because I appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one.